Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. In this video today, as the title suggests, we're going to be discussing costs associated with the registration of a corporation here in the Kingdom of Thailand. Uh, as is noted, or as one can find throughout, the ch uh, throughout our channel, there are many, many videos with respect to details as well as overviews um, associated with Thai company formation. Uh, I urge those who are interested in Thai company registration to go ahead and check out those videos on this channel using the search function. There's many, many different videos that go into many different aspects of how Thai corporate law operates and how uh, foreigners can benefit from setting up a Thai company. Uh, with respect to costs, and I'm not trying to be opaque in this video, but costs are going to be very dependent on what exactly it is that the Thai company is looking to do. Um, it also is going to be very dependent on whether or not there's a foreign national involved with the company. Is that foreign national going to need things like work permits and visas? Uh, moreover, is that foreign national going to be seeking uh, certain benefits with respect to disproportionate voting shares, uh, disproportionate rights with respect to dividends in a Thai company? Um, things of this nature. These, uh, For example, a foreign business license will have a substantial impact on the costs associated with uh, the registration of a Thai company. So all of these things should be taken into consideration uh, when, with respect to cost. And again, not to be opaque, um, but things like uh, the registered capital of a given Thai company is going to dictate uh, what the cost of registering the Thai company is as Ministry of Commerce regulations dictate that you've got to have a, you know, there's a certain fee structure associated and it goes up in association with the amount of registered capital that is registered onto a given company. So these things all are gonna have uh, a tremendous bearing on how much a Thai company costs. A very sort of limited Thai structure uh, that's utilized, for example, by a group of Thai nationals to do business in the Kingdom of Thailand is gonna have a radically different cost structure uh, associated with it than there's gonna be associated with you know, a preferred share um, corporate structure that's set up in order to uh, facilitate, well, not necessarily to facilitate specifically, but is set up in order to facilitate business between a Thai and a foreign entity uh, or a Thai and a foreign individuals. And on top of that, you're going to need a foreigner to have a work permit and a visa. Those are going to have tremendously different um, cost analyses, uh, you're going to be looking at tremendously different costs. Uh, what to take away from this video? It is a good idea to simply have a synopsis or a summary of, one, of what one wishes to do with respect or in association with registration of a Thai company here in the kingdom, uh, what they're looking to get out of it in terms of benefits, especially with respect to foreign nationals. Are the foreign nationals looking to have work permits associated with the company? Uh, business visas associated with the company, etc. Um, those are going to have an impact on the overall cost of the company. And then put together a synopsis as to what one wants to do as various corporate objectives may have uh, specific licensing requirements or things like an import-export uh, permit may need to be uh, obtained in order to uh, operate that company. Basically, go ahead, gather all, you know, create a synopsis, exactly what an individual, what you're looking to do with respect to your company, uh, and then contact a legal professional and simply say, this is what I want to do. Please give me a breakdown of the costs associated therewith. And in fairly short order, you know, there should be, uh, the legal professional in question should be able to generate up a quotation and provide some insight with respect to not only upfront costs, but ongoing costs as well. 